Dykes on Disc, Ella, Chapter 22 Being on the Road After leaving Salisaw, Oklahoma, Ella was lost in thoughts of getting back to Florida, back home to her warm, clean bed. She knew, too, that the Teamsters would be calling her to work soon, and she wanted to be home when the call came. On she drove, through Arkansas, stopping in Memphis and Atlanta, she raced towards Florida. Gabby took in the kaleidoscope of green. Gone were the mountain and desert scenes of the West. She was nearing the Tropic of Cancer. It was an ending point in her path thus far. Gabby wondered, too, about the future. Where was she going to live now that she had sold her trailer? Yes, life was one big adventure after another. She wondered, too, if she and Ella were a couple now. They had exchanged rings in Gallup, New Mexico, and had sex in California, but what did that mean? Neither of them had actually talked about their status of their relationship. Sometimes, though, the two women would be in sync. It was scary. If I really push it, started Ella, we could be in Florida today. Let's stay in Georgia tonight, responded Gabby. One last day of freedom, suggested Ella. Yes, said Gabby. We have enough money. So, it was America's best value in, in Decatur, Georgia, that they spent their last night of being on the road. Once again, Gabby accessed the free Wi-Fi and confirmed the marijuana laws in Georgia. One ounce or less was one year in jail and a $1,000 fine. Well, to a girl with $50,000 in student loans, $1,000 was nothing. And jail, well, Gabby prayed for God's continued care and protection. She placed a towel beneath the bathroom door, sat on the closed toilet, and inhaled. Ah, to be continued. Play Pat, what up? Martha, I'm not from being nervous sometimes I'm thinking God made me special here on purpose So all the while till I'm gone make my words important So if I slip away, if I die today The last thing you remember won't be about some apple bottom jeans With the boots, with the fur